teaching philosophy revolves around my personal belief and feelings that every person is a valuable person and that they all deserve to be educated. I feel they deserve an educator that will be passionate, committed, and motivated themselves to uh, provide the best educational opportunities for those students. Um, I believe that students, if they are put in a, um, a very stimulating cultural environment um, with high expectations, no matter how weak or strong that student is, they will be able to excel with a nurturing educator by their side to assist and guide them. The person that inspires me, um, I would have to, have to say, honestly, is just people in general um, who have displayed the ability to overcome their personal struggles and to be able to meet personal goals despite their struggles. And that just always inspires me when I see those people um, overcoming those struggles and becoming and meeting their dreams. It inspires me to continue to do what I do and to help and assist them with that. My favorite pastime is spending time with my family, my kids, my dog Cooper, um, and spending time with my church family when I get the opportunity. Um, they help to encourage me and inspire me, and that's, that's really my favorite pastime. If I could teach in another discipline, um, I think it would be the fine arts area. I always think it's just, uh, it, it lets you use your imagination and your creativity and um, would just, seems like it would just be so much fun to teach in fine arts. My favorite music would have to be praise and worship music. Um, it helps me, it encourages me every day, lifts me up every day, and um, I just really enjoy listening to praise and worship music. My favorite motion picture um, when I was younger was Grease by a long stretch. But now, um, as I've gotten older, my favorite movie now is War Room. It's a really good movie. The last book that I read um, was actually the book War Room and I had gone and seen the movie War Room and everybody told me that I really needed to, to read the book. So I went and read the book and it was absolutely amazing. If I had the opportunity to travel anywhere, um, there's a few places that I would really like to go. Um, I would like to go to Hawaii and visit where Pearl Harbor was bombed and, and all that. Um, I think that's a major historical place for our country. I would love to go there. I would also like to go to New York. Um, I've been to New York once, but it was before the World Trade Center was destroyed. And so I would like to go back and visit Ground Zero and see that museum and, and all that, because I think that's an important history you know, for our country. And then I would love to go to Israel. I don't even know why, but I would love to go to Israel and see that, that uh, country. The best advice that I've ever received was advice that um, it takes compromise and sacrifice to be successful at just about anything, from marriage to parenting to your job. Um, you've got to compromise and sacrifice in order to be successful. And that has carried me along life's journey um, to this day. Something that people uh, may not know about me and probably most don't know uh, specifics about me is that I was born with a birth defect. Um, and uh, most people think that it happened by an accident or you know I lost it later on in life or something, but it, it was actually, I was born that way. And I'm not gonna show you because I want you to come and see me at ANC and then I can share my story with you.